Okay, one more time. Still no trace of D54H. I can use this instrument to determine the chemical composition of different substances. I only have to put the material to be tested in the test tube behind that lid, and then I can start the process. The electronic system Lisa and I developed will do the rest. The usual, white lab coats, blue jeans, and golden towels? Who do those belong to? I should pump the water out first. Water pumped out, ready to unload. Is that towel really golden? How tacky. Hotel La Comte du Roy, Barcelona. Five stars. Good grief, how did this get here? No one here can afford to stay at a five-star hotel. Smells freshly laundered, which is also why it's still dripping wet. A golden towel with a name embroidered on it. Good grief. How did this get here? No one here can afford to stay at a five-star hotel. I don't understand. Where did you get the money for such an expensive hotel? That's none of your damn business. I thought you didn't have any money. And yet, you are traveling to a five-star hotel in Barcelona? That's my private life, do you hear me? It's no concern of yours. So why don't you get lost and never come back? Guess what I've found in my old lab coat? The dried out Delta algae? Yes. How did you know? Because you worked yourself almost to death on it. You were always carrying samples around until the day they carried you out on a litter. You kept my old lab coat? I wear it for cleaning sometimes. I don't want to get my own dirty. Hmm. What's this towel doing here? It belongs to Duva. He really stayed at a five-star hotel? No normal person can afford that. Bent? Hmm? If you want to know something about your son, ask him yourself. And if he doesn't tell me anything? Then maybe it's none of your business. Is the intercom still working? Yes, but you still can't make a continental call. Who do you want to call? You'll see. Barney speaking. It's me, Bent. Ah, <laughs> perfect timing, old warhorse. I wanted to know how long you're going to stay with us. I don't know, yet. Uh, no problem. But notify me on time so I can organize transport and accommodation on land. You just tell me where you want to go, and it will be done. Thanks, Barney. Any news on the investors? They still have a hard time believing what you showed them. And to be quite honest, so do I. Honestly, it couldn't have been the algae alone that did that, could it? No, of course not. What were you thinking? I... I didn't have a choice. Indes wants to buy the algae and destroy it. And his plan would have worked if he hadn't tampered with the presentation. But the deceit will be exposed and then no one will trust us with their money anymore. The investors probably won't. But we're just buying time right now. The committee in Oslo is what's important, and that's why I'm here. I'm sorry, Ben, but I don't follow. That's all right. 
As long as you still trust me. And, um, don't tell Faye about my little stunt, please. So you do feel guilty? Let's just say she thinks the world of us, and I don't want to disappoint her. You've really made a mess of things, haven't you? I know. Can we talk about something else, please? About my return trip. Please make a reservation at a hotel for me. I take it you want to go to the conference Faye mentioned. I can recommend the Grand Welcome Inn in downtown Oslo, or the Garden City Hotel near the Botanical Garden. Please make a reservation at the Hotel Le Comte du Roy in Barcelona. Are you sure about that? Of course. I have a secret weakness for decadent five-star hotels. That's not what I meant. The Du Roy is a very special hotel. Is it a brothel? <laughs> no. It specializes in male guests, but it's not a brothel. Let's just say that most workers on this rig won't like it there. But Duva liked it there. I don't want to get involved in this. Have Duva explain it to you, or find out for yourself. Can I help you with anything else? What about that hotel? It's a perfectly normal hotel with a distinctive target group. And neither I nor you or Lissa or the doc belong to it. But Duva does. So long. Okay. See you later. Hey, Alyssa. It's not me! It's Bent! Oh, Dr. Svensson. Good to hear you. What can I do for you? Is there a message for me? Nope. Nothing. Do you expect a call? No, I just thought people had heard of my return. Oh, trust me. They did. And partly because of me. I thought as much. Call the office lab if something comes in. Sure. Anything else? I want you to page someone. Who? Page my son. And what do you want me to tell him? Tell him he should come to the radio room. The radio room? Why? Because you have a message for him? I do? Yes. Tell him... His friend called. All right. How did you find out Duva is gay? Oh, Ben, don't look at me like that. You two can't even agree on the weather. Why would he tell you about his sexual orientation? But I would have been fine with it. Do I really know nothing about my own son? Oh, he's on his way. What do you want me to tell him when he gets here? Tell him his father misses him. Oh, okay. I hope he won't get angry. Oh, but he will. This is Lissa's bed. The only thing this got me is a bad conscience. In the past, that was my bed. Now Duva sleeps here. I don't like to do this, but I don't have a choice. Aha, if that isn't the lost file. Hmm, that's strange. The data collection ended on February 20th this year. They either recorded later value somewhere else or they abandoned research on the D45H project. That doesn't make any sense though. Why would they discard our best algae? The data collection was discontinued on February 20th. What happened on that day? Lisa? Yes? 
What happened on February 20th? Why did you stop working on the Delta algae? Bent, you don't want to know. Two years ago, I almost worked myself to death on the Delta algae culture. Of course I want to know. There was an accident. An accident? Yes. A fire broke out in the algae station. It destroyed the whole culture. What about the samples? You did take samples before it happened, didn't you? No, there was a mistake. I thought Duva was responsible for taking samples that day, and he thought I was. It was a stupid misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. Where are you going? I don't want to imply anything, but something's wrong here, and I won't rest until I know exactly what it is. Why don't you listen to me? It was an accident. Sadi, come in, please. Ben says the investors are convinced. You must have been wrong. <coughs> no, Faye. I wasn't wrong. The algae is too weak. It won't save the world. But it even convinced the investors. You didn't see what I saw, Faye. I can't believe in it anymore. <coughs> we made a really big mistake. What happened, Sadi? I hardly recognize you. What do you think happened? I'm stuck in a time I don't understand. My friends are dead. And I'm alone. <coughs> I have a lot of time to think. Why are you coughing so much? No idea. It's been getting worse for days now. But it's okay. Everybody dies sooner or later. Oh, God, don't say something like that. Get your medikit and do a scan. Maybe you just have a cold. Maybe. What do you mean? We made a mistake? I'm talking about the Phoenix Plan. But the Phoenix Plan is great. We're saving the world from doom. Delvin says you killed a survivor in San Francisco. That... that was Salvador. And you stormed a building in Oslo. You took hostages. I had to. I had to make them listen to us. Wherever we go, Faye, we bring suffering. Or was there anything you achieved without using violence? I convinced Ben to help me. Hmm. Why do you doubt our algae? Because it isn't our algae. I found some articles in an archive. Norwegian algae research discontinued. Millions spent on useless research. Bent Spenson's algae was so weak, even scientists didn't believe in it anymore. But I don't understand. Ben Spenson. THE Spenson. I even met Barney. And the doctor. They all believe in Bent and his research. Accept it, Faye. Bent Spenson is a failure. Don't get his hopes up. That's not making any sense. You must be wrong. Faye, please. You must listen to me. <coughs> Since we went on this mission, we've only brought death to the people. It's like a curse. Everybody dies. <coughs> Stop believing in the algae and get away from the rig, or Bent Spenson will d die. Saudi, please. If you are my friend, you have to trust me. The algae is powerful enough, and Bent Spenson is our savior. And he will die too. Saudi? Saudi? Saudi! Oh no! What's wrong now? 